All right, today I am up close and personal to the camera. I am going to be showing you how to wire the zone board and how to troubleshoot a zone board, all right? So first things first, you have a thermostat. Let's say you're in a house, you have a thermostat downstairs, you have a thermostat on the second floor, and let's say you have a thermostat on the third floor. That would mean you have three zone dampers and you have three thermostats. You have an air handler, you have a condenser. You have to wire this bad boy up. Okay, this is very easy, all right? What you're gonna do, if you look at any zone board, it's gonna have a place for each thermostat, all right? Zone one thermostat, that's the first floor downstairs. Zone two thermostat, that's the second floor. Zone three thermostat, that's your third floor, okay? So you're gonna take each thermostat and you're gonna wire it up the way you would wire up any thermostat, right? So you're gonna put the first thermostat here, the second thermostat here, the third thermostat here. All right, supply air sensor. What you're gonna do is you're gonna drill a hole in the air handler. You're gonna stick that sensor in there by the coil or on the supply side, depending on where the instructions want you to put it. And then you're gonna put those two wires right there, okay? On this side, you have three zones. Zone one motor, some zone boards say zone one damper, okay? Zone two motor, zone three motor. This is where you're gonna wire your dampers, okay? Take a look at my other video that I just uploaded that explains to you how to wire a damper. You're gonna need that, okay? So this is where you're gonna wire the dampers. Right here, 24 volt transformer, R and C, okay. You cannot take the transformer in the air handler and wire that to a zone board. You must put another transformer, it has to be a separate transformer than what's manufactured in the unit. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that in the air handler, you're gonna mount it, you're gonna take the voltage, if it's, let's say 240 volt, system let's say it's a heat pump not a firm furnace you're going to wire that to the air handler then you're going to take the 24 volts and you are going to connect it right there where it says 24 volt where are we here it's hard for me to see backwards right there okay now here it says system this is an ewc board on honeywell zone boards it says equipment that's the air handler, okay? So normally without a zone board, you would take the thermostat and wire it to the air handler. In this case, you're gonna wire the thermostats here, like I said a minute ago, wherever they are, let's see if I can see it. Right there, you're gonna wire the thermostat there. Then you're gonna wire the air handler here, okay? That's the zone board, it's easy. It's not difficult to wire. It's a little intimidating for people who are new in the industry. It's very simple. I recommend you watch this video two or three times, the beginning, or just rewind it so you can get that in your mind, okay? Let's talk about troubleshooting this thing, all right? You turn the first level downstairs to cool. The condenser is not coming on, right? So normally, if you had no zone board, you would go up to the air handler Everyone does it differently, right? So I'll go up to the air handler. If there was no zone board, you would check Y and C and see if you have 24 volts up in the attic or in the crawl space, right? If you have it, you're gonna go out to the condenser and see if it's out there. In this case, you are going to check the first floor thermostat because that's when you turned on. That's here. You are going to check on yellow in common and see if that thermostat is sending that signal. If it is sending it, then you are going to go to equipment and you're gonna check yellow and common. If you don't have it, the zone board is bad because the zone board will be getting 24 volts to Y, but it's not sending it out and just like any other board that would make it bad. That's how you troubleshoot a zone board, right? So you're gonna check to see if your thermostats are getting the signal. If they are, 
the board needs to be sending it out. If the thermostat is getting the signal and the board is sending it out, you cannot blame the zone board. It's the same case as the zone dampers, right? If the first floor is on, then that damper needs to be open, all right? So if you have power open dampers, you're gonna check on M1 and M4, because M4 would be your power open. See if that damper is getting 24 volts. If it is, and it's closed, you're gonna have to stick your hand in there, probably see if it's closed. You can sort of jimmy it, see if it's stuck. You may have to blame the damper, okay? So maybe I'll do a video on troubleshooting these, all right? But that's how you troubleshoot a zone board. It's pretty simple. Leave a question if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, everyone, have a good day.